guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Tepi Sonia Gane of The Gifted Hand. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I'm so excited that this day is finally here. Thank you for tuning in to our Christmas edition, guys, where we're baking our way to Christmas. So last week, I posted on my Instagram page asking that you guys vote for five of your most favorite recipe out of the eight that I've previously done on my channel. So um, you guys actually voted for six. So from today, I'll be posting a recipe every day at 8 p.m. You should look out for our recipe and I'll end up posting six because you guys voted for six. So today we're starting off with the most voted recipe, which is the Swiss roll. The simplest recipe, it comes in two variations. It's a vanilla and a chocolate. So I'll actually be sharing both variations on this video. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. first things first uh, before we start please subscribe to my channel please like this video if you happen to try it uh, just comment down below and let me know how it goes if you have any questions leave a comment down below and I'll definitely respond to your questions so uh, we're going to start with the vanilla variation of the Swiss roll so guys, the first thing um, that I'm going to do I'm going to sift my dry ingredients I normally use a baking paper it's just a sheet of baking paper to sift my dry ingredients on but you can use a bowl but i just prefer this method because we're going to sift it twice so we're going to start with our cake flour that is 13 tablespoons of cake flour and one teaspoon of baking powder so you're going to sift this the first time and from there I'm going to, I normally put it back into the bowl that I was, um, that had the flour in the first place. So I'm putting it back because I am going to sift it twice. And I'm going to put this aside. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, on a separate bowl, Going to beat our four large eggs until it's frothy. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add our custard sugar, and that is half a cup of custard sugar. And we're going to beat this until um, it gets to ribbon stage. So I'll show you the stage when you get there. So our mixture is ready, guys. Um, so you know it's ready when it's double in size, a pale in color. And when you lift the whisk to write the number eight, it doesn't disappear as quickly. I don't know if you can see that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our, our dry ingredients into this mixture. You add your two teaspoons of vanilla essence. So guys, you're going to fold in your dry ingredients. So oh, I think I don't see any flour. I'm gonna stop mixing. So guys, you, you need a, a flat pan like this. You're going to um, apply margarine or nonstick spray and a baking paper. So the importance of the baking paper is to make sure that your bakes do not stick to your pan. And it's very important for this recipe, make sure that you get yourself a baking paper for this. So we're going to transfer our mixture into our pan. So you're going to tap this onto the counter about three times to release any air bubbles that may be stuck inside. And you're going to bake it at 220 degrees for 10 minutes. So guys, whilst the cake is in the oven, we're going to take a piece of baking paper 
um, about the size of the pan, a little bit more than the size of the pan, or a clean dish cloth. And you want to sprinkle about half a cup of custard sugar on the baking paper. So this is this is to make sure that the the cake does not stick to the baking paper. Or if you're using a dish cloth, it also ensures that the cake does not stick to the dish cloth. So you do the same thing whether you're using a baking paper or the dish cloth. So you need to also have a knife already on the side for when the cake comes out of the oven you're going to trim off the edges there you have it guys it's ready 10 minutes later so you're quickly going to turn it onto the custard sugar so the reason why we need to work quickly is because we don't want it to crack so we want to work with it whilst it's still warm And then you're going to trim off the edges. You're going to roll it into a very tight lock. So there you go. So guys, now we're going to do a chocolate version of our Swiss roll. So it's the same method. The only difference in ingredients is that you're adding cocoa powder instead of just using uh, cake flour. It's also four large eggs. So you're going to bake this at 220 degrees for 10 minutes. So whilst we wait for our cake to cool down, we're going to make the, the filling for our chocolate version of the Swiss roll. So I have one cup of uh, whipping cream and you need two to three tablespoons of custard sugar, depending on how sweet you want it. There you have it. It's a rich, stiff cake. Um, nice and stable and ready to use so we're going to start with our vanilla so you gently unroll it just make sure that it's, a, it's completely cool gently unroll it there we go and you're going to add so don't stretch it too much it might tear So you don't have to remove the sugar that's all over the cake. Perfect. It's perfect. So we're going to trim off the excess again so it looks neat. And next up, our chocolate version. Very nice and rich. This looks amazing. Oh, Christmas. I can't wait for Christmas. So guys, we're just going to do a bit of decoration so they look nice. Just to add that nice finishing touch. 
So there you have it guys, our vanilla and our chocolate cis roll, all ready to be enjoyed. And now this is a great tea time snack. It's perfectly delicious as it is, or you can use it as for your Christmas trifle. So I know a lot of people use um, cis roll in their trifle. So this is the perfect cis roll for your trifle, or you can have it with ice cream. Now, the most important thing with this recipe, guys, is the technique. Four ingredients, very simple, but if you if you fail with the technique, you're not going to come right. So just follow the recipe as closely as you can. I hope you enjoy it. Until tomorrow, happy holidays. Bye.